Hello, I'm Kira Millwood Hargrave. And I'm Tom DeFreston, and this is our book, Julia and the Shark, which is about Julia who travels up to Unst in the Shetlands with her parents, where her dad is going to be reprogramming a lighthouse and her mum is on the search for the elusive Greenland shark. There are more secrets in the ocean than in the sky. Mum told me when the water is still and the stars prick its surface, some of the sky's secrets fall into the sea and add to its mysteries. When we lived in the lighthouse, I hauled my long-handled crab net over the balcony railing and tried to catch them, but I never did. Other nights, when storms turned everything upside down and hurled water and sky at each other, the spray from the waves reached the beam. It came through the grates at the high windows to scatter across the floor of Dad's office. I listened to the puddles in the morning, but I never heard anything. No messages fallen from the clouds. Perhaps the secrets drowned in the night, like a fish in air. My name is Julia. This is the story of the summer I lost my mum and found a shark older than trees. Don't worry though, that doesn't spoil the ending. I'm named after my grandmother, who I never met, and also after a computer programme that my dad likes. I'm 10 years and 203 days old. I had to ask my dad to work that out for me because numbers are not my favourite. Words are. You can make numbers into words, but you can't make words into numbers. So words must be more powerful, mustn't they? Dad disagrees. He works in all numbers. That's why we ended up at that old lighthouse in Shetland. He went to program it, to make it work automatically. A lighthouse keeper used to live there, and the flame was made of gas and sparks, not a 1000 watt tungsten light bulb. Gas and sparks, like stars. It's closer to Norway than England there, closer to Norway than Edinburgh even. To find Shetland on a map, you start at our home in Hale in Cornwall, and you move your finger diagonally up, up and to the right until you find islands scattered out like an ink splatter. That's Orkney. You go even further and there's another scatter. Shetland. It's an archipelago, which means a group of islands, and we went to one called Unst. Unst, Shetland, Scotland. 